if you're running first strikes, man, don't sit in the back. Don't try to long ball. I know you got a good sniper scope on your 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 marker, whatever you got. I don't care how far I can see, man. Just get in, get up front. We don't need the first strikes in the back. You're not a real sniper in Call of Duty. Just, just stop doing it, please. <laughs> you, you go, you shots fired, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, man. Bunker, okay. You know exactly see. what I'm talking about. These I guys see. be sitting way in the back, like way in, the, like you're not doing nothing. You know what's funnier? The guys that stay in the back with the round ball. <laughs> Yo, man, they're shooting us in the back. They are shooting us in the <laughs> back. <shooting> us. <laughs> Straight up, we're over here, like, uh, you know, trying our. They're doing our best and everything, you know, being being stealthy, getting up there, and then they go ahead and shoot us in the back just to go ahead and us to yep. for us to start uh, restart. And then when we restart, we go we dart right up in front of them, and then they shoot us again. <laughs> and then no wonder hey. why we keep coming back. Like, hey, I'm gonna say it right now, you you round ballers are sitting in the back and shoot us in the back of the head. Your mom's a hoe. Your mom is a hoe. I'm sorry to say it, and if that hurts you, if you think your mom's a hoe, good, good, good. you shoot a round ball in the back. I oh, carry it out. Okay. We're doing it. We're going straight spicy. Okay. I see how. I <laughs> straight see how aggressive. Going. Hey, but okay. shout out. Shout out my boy, Raptor Assassin, Justin. That man is always on the front line, rocking those first strikes. That is a big help, guys. Like, if I'm try- if someone has us pinned, like he's behind a wall and he's got us all pinned, we're trying to move up. You get Justin throwing down those first strikes, whistling right by that guy. It gets the guy's head down, and bam, you can move up. You get the squad to move up, a little leapfrog, and you got it. I'm telling you, that that is a big help. Yeah, that guardian assistance is is badass. That's why it's 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 beautiful to have that that fusion. Like the way we have it is, uh, in the beginning, you know, like we we just had like a few guys that like they we knew they can handle themselves with the pistol, and uh, we're like, all right, cool. So a very very select few can go ahead and get the rifle sniper platforms because they can be very very efficient both ways. So it's like if they know how rough it is in the front line. And then they get the chance to do that. Uh, they they understand both concepts, and it, it it works out very very well. And then, like you said, Justin's all the way up in the front, or Raptor, we should say, Raptor's all the way in the front. He's going ahead and and pushing, like we're over here breaking their offensive defensive line, and then he's over here piercing through, and then just giving us more ways to breach up and right, move up. Right, right. And it's all synchronized, so it works out beautifully. That's the reason why we uh even open the doors to have a few more guardians. Like I think right now we're, we're doing it to where like every five assassins, there's at least one guardian. And then it's kind of funny because like, once we said that we're going to, we're going to have guardians, like there's like a whole bunch of people that started rushing us to, to, to see if they could be. And we're like, Oh, let's, we got to even out the, the, the numbers, but yeah. Hey, don't get it twisted. If you're a guardian, you're still a master with a pistol. Like yeah, you, can they, still, you can still handle your own. Yeah. You, you, it's, it's a must because you got to understand how, how it is in order to uh to be able to synchronize with the batch you know right like off of that though like i think mg 100s it's the new planet eclipse like magfet gun that's taking over like that's going to be the new like primary marker t uh, like tip x's those were a big thing everyone everyone was rocking them but now you're seeing a lot more mg 100s on the field like this is the future i'm i'm still rocking my tip x but man those mg 100s those things, i've shot justin raptors and that thing shoots like butter that thing is smooth the way those things are, I it's like I'm all like I I think I shot a, a couple times. And, you know, like I'm very very against it. I'll just be like, no, I don't want to shoot that thing. And then I think yeah yeah yeah, and something happened, or I was just like, yeah yeah. You know what? I don't even think it was. Rapid. I think I took somebody else's gun. Uh, oh, I'd be doing that sometimes. And then I really? just yeah, because they were doing nothing. So I was like, give me a gun. And give then me I a was gun. shooting people, and then it was just the the round ball was just, pew, just straight up little little laser form. Oh yeah, round balls on that thing are freaking lasers. Yeah, and I, um, yeah, I think I, I think I did shoot a couple first strikes in it, and uh, those those are like they're different, you know, because the trajectory of the round ball, you can you know and feel when it drops off with the with the first strikes, it's just like eh, it hangs in the air and it just has farther hang time, so it's just like and you got like, you really got to change what you're doing. Yeah, so it's it's kind of funny uh, when people. Or in the back, and then they don't do anything with the resources they have, and then, right, and then you go ahead and take it, and then you're like doing stuff with with some gun that you never used, and then they're just like they look at you funny, and then you run up. <laughs> it works. Yeah, out, works out well. Well, another thing is like I don't personally know like if max loaders are worth it. Like ma- what max loaders are, if you guys don't know, is it's those backpack loaders. So you have a backpack full of paint and a tube that goes under your marker. 
and you have basically a case of paint on your back, 2,000 paintballs ready to shoot. But at the same time, like, is it worth it? Because you're carrying 2,000 paintballs on your back, plus maybe a scuba tank to, like, have enough air to shoot all that. But you got all that weight. Like, can you even run with all that? Like, imagine. Hey, they that the, Whoever that is, they either got to have a hell of stamina and endurance because, like, moving all the way up to being like a Goliath, like a, like a mech warrior, just moving up that line, and then you get a shot in the foot, and then you got to go yep. all the way back. <laughs> Another 10-minute walk all the way back. Yeah, it's you. You got two thousand paintballs ready to shoot, and it takes one shot to to eliminate you. Man, that's a long walk. You gotta think about what you just did. All that money you just dropped on that setup for nothing. Yeah, the way the the way those things work, it's like, yeah, yeah man. It, the different formats, or I should say, different platforms of uh markers to use, where where it's either like high suppression, um, high firepower, or like just the the first strikes or or the round ball and everything. It's like there's there's a specialty to each one and you would hope your teammates and your allies are, are utilizing it to the best of their ability. But you know, some people just be like doing whatever they want and, and everybody else is looking at them like, are you going to help us or, or was no, it? No, right. Like there's definitely pros and cons to it. Like, yes, the pros are like, you can, you can really put down uh, some heavy fire with that thing. Like, and help your team move up. Like if you're, put, if you're throwing down lanes, like everywhere you're throwing down ropes, like your guys could definitely move up. You're putting heads down. But at the same time, it's gonna take you a minute. Like you're, you're, you gotta last all day carrying all that weight. Because you know, with these big games, they go from nine to five, and you still got final battle. Like carrying around all that weight all day, I don't know if you're really gonna last. <laughs> yeah, which which goes into figuring out how your your like fitness lifestyle should be. If you have one, if you don't, then oh man, I don't even know how some people be lasting lasting out there, especially with these these scenarios that are like two days, and then some of them you don't even get a lunch. They'll just be like, yeah, just uh, just play through, and and yeah, you, play through the whole time. It's like, like for you, for yourself, like, okay, we all know you down with a creamy peanut butter and one piece of bread. You know what I'm saying? So yes, what sir. is yes, it sir. that you like to do in, um, in other ways to keep your, your fitness or your stamina or your endurance or your, your, your muscle to fat ratio up? Like, what do you My do? big thing is, well, when it's hot, I don't really run when it's cold, but the moment that it hits like 50, 60 degrees, I go out running. Like, I really like running. I, I can't do, like, long distance. Like, I'm not, like, a marathon runner or anything like that. Like, my max is probably, like, two miles. But I like to try to keep my uh, my mile time down, for, like, per mile just so I have a good steady pace. My stamina is good. I, I like to keep on it. Like, I don't want to go, like, run, like, once every two weeks. Like, I'll, st- I'll try to do, like, four or five times a week. But then another thing is um, running with weighted vest. Four or five ever- times a week? Oh, snap, man. You, so you, you, you're – you just a natural track runner, huh? Just, dang, I didn't even Man, know this. Like, I, just, my, I don't even know you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Behind my crib, there's literally like a path um, that's a circle. And when you run around one time, it's literally like a full lap, like around a track. It's 0.25 miles. So four of those, you're at one mile. Now it makes all sense, man, because everybody yeah, sees you, you dirting around all the time. It's just like, oh, snap. It's like, no. It, uh, I'm telling you, the, the it makes, secret. It makes sense now. Let me tell you all the secret. A weighted vest. So I have this weight. I have this vest that's like a. Uh, oh, yeah. It's cropped, so it doesn't resist you that much. Um, but you can adjust the weight. I, I'll keep it like twenty, twenty-five pounds, which doesn't sound that much. But when you're running with that, and you're trying to do sprints, like I can't last that long with that thing because it really weighs you down. No but crap. Well, that's one, well, that's that's the. Wow, man, I'm impressed. Thoroughly. Well, th- think about it like this: when you have a weighted vest and you're doing sprints, like it's gonna kill you, your stamina, and it's going to resist you when you're running. But when you take that thing off, it's like, damn, like you're taking off. You're literally taking weight off your shoulders from what you're used to running with. Yeah, so that's I mean, why you can run for longer distances. You you can run faster from point A to point B because you're so used to having that. Your body is used to having that weight on you. Then when you take it off, it's take it's like taking off a resistance. Yeah. So you can go ahead and last longer. Ah, nice. Now, what do you do in terms of uh, your, your, your intake? I'm going to keep it honest with you. I eat like shit. That is one of my, like, that's my New Year's resolution. I'm trying to clean, eat a lot more clean. Um, Because, man, I eat a lot of burgers, chicken fingers, like pizza, like a lot. Well, I'm I mean, gonna... okay, so, like, every time we've seen you eat these cheeseburgers and hot dogs and stuff like that, like, you or, or I don't even think you eat hot dogs, but you always have <laughs> no condiments on it. So, <laughs> I'm very plain. I'm very plain. Let me tell y'all, cheeseburger. <laughs> Just cheese, meat, and buns. <laughs> Every time I go out with my friends, I get bullied because, like, I'll tell them, hey, can I just get a cheeseburger plane? And they're like, here we go. Here he goes again. 
<laughs> and okay, the... so everybody sees it, not just us. Okay. No, yeah, hundred percent. Like I'm used to it though, because like I go, I'm like I'm getting ready, like it's getting to my turn at the table to order. I'm like, all right, here we go. I'll take a cheeseburger plane. Yep, go ahead, sit, talk your shit. Go ahead. <laughs> It's just so funny because it's happened like 10 times and we've seen it. I'm over here like, maybe this time you'll get some pickles. Nothing. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Plain so, and simple. My noodles, bro, I'm telling you, when I have spaghetti, butter and salt. What? That's oh, okay. It. Wow. Just plain and simple. <laughs> Your wife is going to be. <laughs> she's going to uh, do Trust nothing. me. Right. My girl already gives me shit. <laughs> She's like, so you mean you want me to take the sauce off the noodles? <laughs> yep, man, put it to the side. Just give me, give me straight noodle. That's it. Okay, so your so your intake is yeah. Well, I mean, also you're 21, so your body is able to do a lot more, a lot faster compared to everybody else. That's usually a little bit older uh, when when they're playing out there because you know as the age goes on, your metabolism changes. And everything, yeah, so that's why I definitely want to start like getting strict on myself now. Start cleaning it up a little bit. Like I'll eat salads and stuff, but not on the regular. So I'm definitely trying to get on that. More um like grilled chicken, some rice, um eggs in the morning. What what's been your fastest on. uh uh mile, time wise? Um six forty six forty four I think. Oh, that's my actually fastest. no. I'm sorry. Right in the six forties. I oh. had a six ten toward the end of this summer. Well, damn, that's pretty good, man. And and like you know, mm, your your weight is probably in proportion. Yeah, you're not obese. Um, one, I'm I'm one seventy. Five, yeah, five oh, okay, nine, one seventy. Okay, so you, what you got some, you got some, uh, some solid muscle then, huh? A little bit, yeah. I'm working on it. Okay. My legs are a little small. I'm try, I'm working on that. <laughs> um, well, that seven minute mile, man, or I should say six and some change, is that's pretty. That's really, really good, actually. So, well, dude, there's this thing I do. So there's this song by Travis Scott. It's called uh, Thirty Five Hundred. The uh-huh. song is like seven minutes and ten seconds or something. So I'll start it. Like at a certain point, so like pretend it's seven minutes, ten seconds. So if I start it at the ten second mark, then I know I have to finish my mile before the song is done. So if I hear the the song is like starting to close out, then I know I have to speed up my mile. That's your cutoff, Got it. Yeah. So I always I always run to the same song when I'm trying to do like a PR mile time. Nice. So like, um, when it comes down to work, isn't too strenuous, and and uh, when you're playing uh, paintball, that's when you like uh, really really get going to town on it. You're not you don't really do too much lifting or anything, right? You usually just cardio and keeping your fitness uh and your stamina. Oh level. no, I, I'm into lifting too. So in in our basement, we have like a couple things. Like I got like a couple curl bars and like so I have like adjustable dumbbells. So it's like it's dumbbell bars, but you just put random weights on there and have some resistance bands. But I'm not like a huge like gym guy I'll, I'll try to lift like more four times to- four or five times a week yeah i mean it it's like uh so f- so for like paintball itself it's it's like you really you should not be like a really really heavy lifter or anything like you shouldn't be bulk and, and all and crazy and muscular and stuff because like i've tried it like with all the years i'm like all right let's see what works uh the times where like i was more just really um shoot when i had no muscle and everything i was just straight i think uh I think it was like 150 until like I was 25 and you just, just being like just that like no muscle or whatever you're, yeah. you can, you can run, you can run for a while. You can do this and that, but it's just like, eh, everything's heavy <laughs> when it comes down to yeah. stuff like that. So then you try to go ahead and, and, uh, encounter that you get some muscle, add some mass on, you're like, all right, cool. And then when you get to a point where you just get a little bit too much muscle, then you really feel it when you're out there. And then even if you do want to get a lot of muscle, um, and say like you're at the gym all the time, just lifting, getting, getting that nice ratio, trying to get to like 12% body fat and then all, all muscle, everything else. Then it's like your, the, the whole setup is, is different. Like your body wants to be what it wants to be. So like if, uh, even if I wanted to do all that, like I was saying, you go play paintball or, or to me, I, I'm in a, it's like martial arts dancing yeah, uh, with a paintball and, and running around and all that stuff. And then lifting, it's like. You, it will not allow you to stay bulky because all that cardio from dancing for hours or whatever. And when you're dancing, like you don't even realize or feel it. You just continue going and going and going. And then when you're um, when you're doing martial arts, it's just straight up like cardio. You just going and going. And then when it comes down to uh, paintball, like when you're running around and you got all that gear on and you're sweating, it like deflates you, you know. So it's like yeah. you have to find that perfect sweet spot to where you're that limber balance. enough. 
muscular enough, yet you have enough endurance and stamina 